I think we're not talking to our kids in ways that they can hear. We're telling them, don't have sex, mm -hmm. don't drink. Those are the rules. And then we're not explaining to them how to actually go through really complicated social dynamics and apply our values in those moments. And certainly with boys, we are not talking to them about the possibility that they would witness or even participate in something. And as a mom of two boys, I understand that. You don't want to think of your children in this way. But we're talking a lot to our girls about this, but we're not talking to our boys. Can we say things like, do the right thing, stand up for people, but we don't say how. And so that's why it's so important to be able to say things in ways that are concrete and the kids can apply. Because otherwise, when they're actually in the situation, when they're drinking, and when there's all, and they've had a lot of entitlement because they're athletes or for whatever reason that they have social status in the school, they think that this just doesn't seem odd to them. None of this, if you ask the kids, they don't think that this is odd or abnormal. They never do. They no. think this is just what we do, and this time it got out of hand. You say on page 38, talking about boys, they know that being popular doesn't mean that people like you. It means that people know you and realize it's not worth confronting you in a conflict. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? I mean that when the boys are in that party or in that when they're hanging out and those there are popular boys in that room, that another boy, even if he's been told by his parents, do the right thing, whatever that is, as general as we, as we say it, that when he sees that boy, he knows that he has no ability to confront him because if he confronts him, he will lose. There is nothing that he can do. Most boys feel that there's nothing they can do in that moment that actually will change the dynamic. And so when we say things like, well, if that was your sister, would you do that? For most boys, that's not what's going on. What's going on is that they have been in a relationship with a friend and someone that they know, and they don't feel that there's any point in being able to confront them. And I have to tell you, especially for boys in groups where some of those boys have power and their parents have power in a community, the boys know or believe strongly that there is no way that they can confront that power because the parents will come down and all of the power of the community will come down. There's no point in speaking out. 